In this video, I want to discuss Cat Williams. Cat Williams has been um, receiving notoriety. He's been receiving a lot of public attention from both white and black people because of his conspiracy theories. Some, obviously, um, happen to be true as, um, regarding um, Diddy and his um, perverted freaky party, okay? However, Cat Williams has realized that he has now been seen as the Oracle, okay, Mystic Meg. Everybody comes to view Cat Williams' video because they regard him to be an Oracle of Truth, okay? So it's gone to his head now. Everything he says he's seen as some kind of journalist. He's seen as, if you like, uh, the modern way to access information regarding Hollywood and entertainment. Some things he says is true. Others, sadly, are not. Cat Williams claimed that um, wh white people are terrified of Louis Farrakhan. Why white people are terrified of Louis Farrakhan. And he showed images of uh, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, which has no connection with Louis Farrakhan. Malcolm X and, um, Lu and, and sorry, um, Martin Luther King haven't got a history of killing black people. They haven't got a history of selling out their own race for money or materialism. And secondly, Louis Farrakhan happened to reach old age in his 90s. Any decent black leader, any respectable black leader, noticed they are assassinated. Louis Farrakhan is still alive. Cat Williams claims that white people are terrified of Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan tried to start a business, you know, regarding I come up with some kind of soap and bread, and he got into liquidation. He got into debt. Okay. Secondly, the Louis Farrakhan Foundation. When Louis Farrakhan dies, the establishment, the organisation, the political theocracy, then takes over to Mustafa working up black people, giving them false revolution and a false rapture. And, 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 and if you follow the Nesh of Islam, you know, you're going to somehow get some kind of political, social justice. They've been at it for the last 70 years. Malcolm X died as a result of the Nation of Islam. Black and black killing, black and black murder. You, ha you even have videos of Louis Farrakhan celebrating Malcolm X's death, celebrating it. And those 
those who were there to guard him, they were ducking. They are cowardly dogs, ducking and running under poles. You better try to protect the man. If you say it's a leader, you're damn punk. You don't have to. Cat Williams know this, but obviously he's trying to become so controversial why white people are terrified of Louis Farrakhan. What reason? He's reached old age, he's done nothing. What are you going to do with knowledge and education? You haven't even started a business, you haven't even got black scientists, you haven't got black teachers, black mathematician, black nuclear physicists, all you've got are brainwashed people believing in aliens and mothership. That's all you got. Brainwashed black people believing in aliens and mothership, giving their money over to Louis Farrakhan. He's done nothing. He's, he's lived to a right old age, a ripe old age, getting money off black people, leasing, no, fleecing money off black people. And in the end, what has he done for black America? What has he done? What business has he built? Peddling racism, peddling nothing but hatred. Have you noticed when black people are murdered, where is Louis Farrakhan? Where are all the 10,000 Nation of Islam? Where are they? But suddenly they come out when they're making money. Nation of Islam, if you notice, not one of their members ever, ever get murdered by the police or killed. Not one Nation of Islam. Why not? They claim they're radical. They claim the revolution. I've not seen one nation of Islam. Ever, do you remember when Martin, not Martin the King, Malcolm X during his arrest and people were arguing back in the 1930s, 40s that nation of Islam only look after themselves. They want big money. So they try to widen the net and pretend they care about everybody else. They widen the net and they're trying to, because they want money from everybody. Like people like church pastors. They don't care who give them money. They'll baptize anybody, christen anybody, just as long as you give them money. And this is, and this is Louis Farrakhan. He don't mind having Christians coming to, to his cult because it's all about money. He's done nothing for black America. He will die and his business will go to Mustafa. His business will stay in the Farrakhan family the same way as black pastors like T.D. Jakes. When he dies, he's passed on to his daughter. Black people are treating each other cruelly and wickedly. We've got to get off this stupid plantation and, and allow these fools to manipulate us. Cat Williams saying, ah, oh, why white people are scared of Louis Farrakhan? Louis Falcon has done nothing, which is why he hasn't been assassinated. He's part of the establishment. The man is a Freemason. That for the time you're a Freemason, you've sold out. Wake up and stop being gullible.